Did you know the country Ghana is as big as the UK? Did you know the country Nigeria is bigger in size than Germany? Did you know this? Now, the sad thing is, this is not even conspiracy theory or hearsay. This is common knowledge. But how come this knowledge has escaped Africans? Most Africans don't know anything about this. And until a few weeks ago, I always thought an African country, there is a small African country. Fun fact, there are no small African countries. Surprise, right? Yeah, I was equally as surprised. Did you know that there are hundreds of maps out there, different map projections out there, and all of them are inaccurate. It is general knowledge. I'll leave links in the description below. But one particular map shows the actual sizes of every country. And this is it. This is so surprising. And the standard one we use doesn't show the actual sizes, especially Africa. It shrinks Africa. And it's surprising how this common knowledge has now been hidden in a way that when someone hears it, you would think it is conspiracy theory or something. But how come this common knowledge has found its way to evade Africans? Has it been purposely hidden from us? And if you want more knowledge about this, stick to this video to the end because today I'm really going to delve deep into this particular issue. Also, if you like content like this, be sure to leave a thumbs up on this video. Also, be sure to subscribe to this video for more content like this. Hello, lovely people. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Andy and this is Andy's Insights. And on this channel, we do educational content, mainly African commentary and anything relating to Africa. So now we all know that the world is a sphere that is a surround. Little did we know it is impossible, physically impossible, mathematically impossible to represent a sphere on a flat surface without mathematical errors without inaccuracies. So many mathematicians and cartographers, cartographers are people that make maps. Many mathematicians and cartographers decided to use projections because they couldn't represent the earth on a flat surface. They used projections to project the surface of the earth, which is a sphere, onto a flat surface. And the problem with this is, no matter how they projected it, it was always inaccurate. So the cartographers and mathematicians decided that depending on the use of the map, a different map would be used in each situation when the inaccuracy does not apply to that map. So I'm going to talk about the different types of maps and how all the maps are inaccurate. Now, the map that was supposed to be used in Africa or that Africans were supposed to know about is called the Galpetus map. And this map shows the exact land mass of each country. Now, the problem with this map, the reason many people did not use this map is because this map is not accurate when it comes to directions. When you want to find a 90 degree turn on this map and on the earth surface, it was different. Even though the area was the same, the shapes of the lands were different. This map was proposed by James Gow and Arno Peters in 1855 and in 1970 it was released for the public to see. And surprisingly, a map designed in 1855 and brought to the public knowledge in 1970 was not made known to Africa because nowhere in our educational system were we made to know about the true size of Africa. You can Google it. It is not conspiracy theory. You can Google it. The Galpetus projection of the map. And you see for yourself that this was common knowledge. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now, the map we use today is called the Mercator projection. And this map shrinks all the land alongside the equator and expands the lands that moves further away from the equator. So lands that are on the north and south side of the world are expanded exponentially. So when you look on these maps, the Western world, the countries along that side, they are on the northern side, are all made bigger than what they actually are. And this has made the Western world portray themselves as bigger than us. That was not the intent of the map, but that is the reality now. People think the countries on the north side, the outside countries, are bigger than the African countries. And it's a total lie. 
Cater projection has fostered European imperialist attitudes for centuries and created an ethnic bias against the third world. Now, the accuracy of this Makita map was the reason why it was the preferred choice. On this Makita map, the reason the countries along the equator was shrinked is because it gave the opportunity for accurate directions and accurate readings of the map. 90 degree on that map is 90 degree on the floor. Because mathematically, shrinking countries in the middle gave a chance for it to be calculated accurately. But this leaves the inaccuracy of size and this left room for wild inaccuracies. Because the countries in Africa were all shrinked on the map. So what you see on the map are not the real sizes of African countries. Now, if you are not getting it, take for instance, Greenland. Now, Greenland on the map looks bigger than Africa, right? Now, if we drag Greenland, the real size of Greenland, and bring it onto Africa, Africa is 14 times bigger than Greenland. But on this map, Africa is made to look smaller than Greenland. This is just unacceptable for African countries not to know this because we have to know that we were shrinked in order to calculate something accurately, not because our land was actually smaller. And this has made it possible for a country to refer to a country in Africa as you, this small country in Africa, which is absolutely not true. Now, this map projection was invented by Gerardus Marketa in 1569. So it preceded the Galpetus map. But scientifically, anytime there's a new discovery, the old one is re-evaluated and the new one is made known because this one showed accuracy in the landmass. Now, even surprisingly, it was said Gerardus Marketa himself, when referring to the masses of the land, decided to use another map when discussing the true area of the land. But how come African countries, when learning about the true size of the land, we use the Makita projection, which showed Africa to be smaller? Who actually picked out which projection we should learn in our syllabus? Because most of us grew up thinking our countries were very small. Now taking our countries in comparison to other countries, they are way bigger, way bigger, now, with this came controversy because critics actually claim that most Western countries decided to continue using this map because it showed them as a bigger country. And with bigger in our minds, bigger is better. So we see this, irregardless of how small it is, we actually saw ourselves as smaller than what we actually are. And that is a flaw in our educational system because when we're learning our social studies and geographies, we always wanted to just see the land mass, the sizes of the actual land, and it was not accurate. So just imagine a kid in Africa trying to invent something, just looking at the visual mass of the lands. It's already wrong to begin with. There are other projections. The wrinkle triple projection actually is all inaccurate. It's very inaccurate when it comes to both the directions and the land mass. But this is even what is shown to have the least inaccuracy when it comes to the size of the actual land and also when it comes to the directions. And even that was not used. Now, to compare the actual size of each country, there's a website called thetruesize.com. And in this website, you can actually take your country and compare it to the actual size of another country if your country was to be positioned there during the time of the projection, as you can see, and you can tell that the African countries are way bigger. And the sad thing is this Boston school in the US in Massachusetts is the first private school to actually take the Galpetus map and use it as the primary map. And countries in Africa, schools in Africa have no idea about this. Knowledge, they say, is power. And if that knowledge is taken from you, you would feel inferior because the power has been taken out of your hands. And that's the issue in this case. So, if you like contents like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel right down there. Subscribe and also like this video. 
Now stick to my channel for other content just like this. Thank you and until next time.